Hey, what's going on, Comfort Killers? I want to help you out with time management today. Maybe you're slacking off. Maybe you're really not finishing your tasks at the end of the day. And maybe when you look at the end of the week, you know that you lost a lot of time. Well, Pomodoro technique is, is a pretty old technique, but it has helped me out. And I want to make sure I give you that information. It's developed by Francisco Cirillo, but it's not important, okay? What is important is how it works. How it works is you set a timer for 25 minutes, okay? After that timer is up, you stop, okay? And then you take a break for three to five minutes. If you schedule about one hour, okay? One hour of your day doing something or, or an hour and a half or whatever, how many 25 minute blocks can you find in there along with your three to five minute, five to 10 minute breaks? So let's say I have a task today of writing an article. Okay, that's a huge task. Many people uh, fail at tasks because there's research that has to go into writing an article. Maybe you're gonna reference other things. You wanna cite other things. So you gotta lay those things out. So for the first 25 minutes, who's my audience? What is it going? So you break down that one task into maybe four smaller tasks. So outline you know, outline is one task. And then, you know, you have where your reference is coming from. Who's going, who's your audience? Who are you writing this for? What is the outcome of the article? What do you want your uh, readers to actually do? What's the call to action on here? How do you want them to feel? You can actually uh, do this in, before writing an article and you should do it before writing an article. But I just want to say when you cook curry chicken, right? Let's say I'm with you and we're cooking curry chicken and that's that's the goal. We want to cook some curry chicken, have a great dinner. So we don't just throw the whole damn chicken in the pot and throw the curry on it. That's not how you cook curry chicken. First of all, you want to, you know, lay out your seasonings, you know, cut up all the, the onions, whatever you want to put in it, maybe dice up some potatoes, whatever you want to put in it, all those things are there. Then the next step is do this. You have to, you know, clean your chicken and do it. So you see that we could break down tasks into manageable, digestible, bite-sized things. And that's how you get laser focused on it. Let's say you want to build a website. That's a freaking crazy, huge task. That shouldn't be on your to-do list and say, okay, today I'm going to build a website. That's great. It's lofty, but what are the tasks? How are these things broken down in order to get to the goal of building a website? So the, the, Poma, the Pomodoro technique is pretty much this. It's one, decide on the task that needs to be done. Two, set the Pomodoro, Pomodoro timer, which is any timer, um, your phone, like I said, a stopwatch. Uh, then you work on that task like intensely. And you don't, you don't pull your head up until that, that task is done or the 25 minutes is over. Now, what if you get a phone call? What if Facebook notifies you? What if Instagram says, ding, ding, you got a, um, a message? What if your sister-in-law calls? What if someone knocks on your door? What if these things, what are these things? These things are called distraction and they are the, the slayers of your time. Okay. I don't care how nice your sister-in-law may be. I don't care who your, if your grandmother was the one that notified you on Facebook, this time that you have set forth to complete a task, to get started on a task all the way to fruition needs to be laser focused. All right. So you want to decide what task is to be done and then really ask yourself, is this task broken down? Is it a big goal or am I focused on one action point, a target, a task? What is in front of me right now? Okay. Then you want to set your timer. Then you want to work on your task. Then you want to end the work when the timer is up and then put a check mark on the part where you finish. Put, you know, get, give yourself some credit. You, you've done something. Maybe you've done the outline. Okay. For the 25 minutes, you've created the outline. You got your citations. You got your references. You know what websites, you know how you're going to formulate this, this thing that you're writing. That's great. That's done. Boom. The next 25 minutes. Okay. You take a three to five minute break and then you're going to set your timer again and you're going to go on back to working on that task. Okay. And then you could do this for four times. So let's say you get to 425 minutes. Okay. After you get to 425 minute um, timers and you got some tasks done, 
and take a 15 to 30 minute break. When you take that 15 to 30 minute break, then that also resets you and it gives you some time to kind of breathe and, and relax and, and, and really kind of take a break. Okay. That's what that 15 to 30 minutes does. And then you're going to go ahead and decide what task you need to do and start from number one. So that's how real time management works is first remove silence, uh, eliminate all distractions that could come forth. But another big thing is, are you able to break down the goal? Okay. Cause, and, and not everything could be finished in a day. I know that sometimes, you know, we're very like, ah, man, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to hustle. Like no tomorrow, not everything needs to be finished today. So plan your week out with all these time periods and the one major goal that you want to accomplish in the week, or you want to accomplish in a month, make sure your time management is aligned to that because that's why we fail plenty of times when, when we need to do things like write a book. Okay. Because we think that, well, I wrote this. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I wrote a lot of this book in one day, but that was my goal for that day. Just write and don't look up. And that's what I did. So just be honest with yourself. Give yourself a little assessment. Take those short breaks in between because they're going to help you out. Maybe go take a walk, get your, get your head back right, you know, grab a drink, eat some fruit, whatever it is, and then get back in it. But the most important thing about Pomodoro and about time management is you've got to get rid of the distractions. I hope this helped you out. Um, if it has, definitely jump on thecomfortkillers.com. You can uh, find me anywhere at Stacey A. Cross um, on Instagram, Twitter, The Comfort Killers on YouTube. Hope this helped you out today. Enjoy your day. I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name.